Oh, let me tell you, we are so happy she's here. The Inn at Hastings Park, we've got some butternut squash, goat cheese sausage, and sage. We're gonna bake it all together. Trisha Perez uh, Neely is here from the Inn at Hastings Park, which if you need to, you or not if you need to, you need to go online and check this place out because it's absolutely beautiful up in uh, up in Boston. So thanks for coming in. Oh, thanks for having me. Nice to see you. It's 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 been a it's been a little bit. And you've been busy. You've been to uh, Patriots games, Red Sox games, you name it. You've been you've been doing it. And were you also training for the marathon? I'm training for the marathon. Yeah. I'm running the marathon on Monday. That's, Whether or not I'm you. training for it. <laughs> look at you. So yes, That's I'm really fantastic. excited. That's fantastic. Well, we're glad you're here. Tell us what we're going to put together and what, we'll, and what we need to uh, to actually make this. So as I'm getting ready to run the marathon right. on Monday, it's, nutrition is really important. And so what I'm talking about is some of the things that I'm going to be eating. So lots of fresh vegetables, protein, um, the sage I actually picked this morning from the garden at the end. Oh, nice. In the rain, right? right? There the rain. you go. Okay. Yep. So when you're getting ready to do sort of endurance exercise, you really want to make sure that you fueled your body. Right. And so what I try to focus on is making sure that I have all of my macronutrients represented. I also don't want to be spending a lot of time cooking right. the night before I'm going to be going out right, and, and running. jaunting 26.2 <laughs> miles from Hopkinton to well, Boston. I think it's fantastic you're doing this. I think it's so great that you're that you're that you're out there doing this. So, uh, what type of noodles are you going to use for this? So, this is actually egg noodles. Okay. These are egg noodles. Um, you know, Pennsylvania Dutch is you know one of the. So, what I like about these is they cook really fast. Right. So, I'm going to put these in. It's going to be about six minutes. And they'll be good to go. Okay. And I actually like the texture. The curliness of the noodle actually helps to hold on to some of that yummy goat cheese. Right. And it just helps kind of hold the flavor. Well, I can't wait to give this a try. And we will do that in just a little bit and also talk about the inn as well. Back to you. Well, it certainly smells like fall in the Roadshow Kitchen today. If you're looking for a hearty, healthy dish, this is it. Butternut squash, goat cheese, sausage, and sage bake. It's all happening on the stove right now. Trisha, it smells so good. Everyone's been coming in. Everyone's like, it smells hungry. like fall, right? <laughs> yeah. It's that combination of that butternut squash and sage. Mm -hmm. You know, it's such a traditional flavor for Thanksgiving, but now right. at this time of the year, all of our farms are harvesting their beautiful butternut squash. Mm -hmm. So I roasted some of that off in the oven. I cooked a sausage. I used a garlic sausage, but you could use you could Whatever use you like, right? pork, you could use mm -hmm. a turkey sausage if you wanted to live, you know, if you wanted to use a linguisa, if you were Portuguese, oh, you could totally linguisa. do that, mm -hmm. right? So I just baked them off and now I'm putting everything into this oven ready pan. We were talking about, you know, being parents too, and this is a great, or even just a busy person. Oh, definitely. Uh, this is a great recipe for you because it comes together quickly and you can almost deconstruct it, make all of the elements and then combine them when it's time to eat. I know that as a new mom to second baby, <laughs> I have three children, they're older. When you're working it on the go, you wanna be able to have some things that you, you can have in your pocket. Yeah. So this all, you know, I'd made one obviously before I came, but I mm -hmm. put it together while we were sitting here doing the show. Really quick and So easy. really about 15, 20 minutes worth of prep. I chose an egg noodle because it only takes about six minutes yes. for it to cook. Mix it all together with a little bit of goat cheese. Of course, if you wanted to use Parmesan or if there were a different type of cheese that you wanted, you could do that. Baked it in the oven and okay. it's ready to go. And of course, uh, we've got to pay tribute to the socks tonight. Yes, can we talk about that? Did, uh, did you have to get that custom made? I did not. So they, they actually they, 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 they actually saw them this way. So, so cool. repping my team today. Yeah, well, yeah, We're hoping to extend team. that season. For sure. Because you're supposed to run time. the Boston Marathon and be able to run by Fenway when you run it, and if they're still playing, then it'll work. Right, exactly. Um, so can we see the, the steamy of course, reveal, here we go. if you will? Wow, and how long did you have to bake that for? I baked that for about 25 minutes. Just let everything come Just together. Just let everything come together. The other thing that I wanted, would, uh, would definitely recommend, when you're doing any sort of pasta bake, mm -hmm. save some of that pasta water. Take that a starchy yep, water. Take okay. like a cup of it in your glass measuring cup, put it on the side, and use it to moisten the pasta. Especially yeah. because I was cooking it in the Dutch oven, so it had the top on it, right. so it was steaming. So it kind of helped steam the butternut squash a little bit more and just li leave a little bit of moisture in that pot. I noticed the texture in the butternut squash um, from the, the pot that's on the stove there to the, the finished mm -hmm. product. It does, it does soften up a little bit, so less of right. a Right, so what Mikhail is talking about, this is a little bit harder, mm -hmm. but as you see, if you come into the pot, um, this is this looks more like that roasted squash. Yeah, so that we all know and love, especially oh, around this so time of year. And we were talking about, you know, it's it's hearty, it's healthy, it's great too if you're gearing up 
for a marathon like if you we're gearing are, up to you. all of the the 21,000 of us who will be <laughs> lacing up our shoes and leaving we get to leave from Hopkinton this year because last yeah. year we had to do it we had to sort of chart our own course so own. I'm really excited um, I'm happy for you bravo I mean the fact that you're even taking it on however you cross that finish line is an accomplishment well it's, it's easy to take it on I'm running for the emergency department at Mass General Hospital who oh. if God forbid I ever needed to be somewhere They're in that situation team. that's where I'd want to be mm -hmm. so it's an honor actually I'm running for them for the second time um, I'm not sure if I would call it running <laughs> Um, but we're going to have a really nice time on Monday walking from Hopkinton all the way into the city. You're going to do a marathon. It's all no good. matter what speed you choose, <laughs> it's impeccable. Um, and it's so great because you have ties to Boston. Uh, mm -hmm. The inn at Hastings Park is a beautiful location. Can you just give us a, a little sure, summary? It's so, what is it yeah, about? I mean, we're really busy right now. This is our busiest time of the year. Yeah. So it's 22 room inn with a 54 seat restaurant. We serve breakfast, lunch, dinner, champagne brunch on the weekends. We still have our beautiful outdoor garden for people to eat outside awesome. and then on November 1st it magically flips and will become a winter wonderland and we'll put our igloos Beautiful. back up some gingerbread make gingerbread making you should bring the kids we're gonna do some gingerbread making in igloos I'm in I don't know we're how. bringing the North Pole to you I, well we like that yeah bring the kids bring the whole family or just you know your your spouse your girlfriends whatever it might be enjoy any number of those things like you said the rooms the champagne brunch Anything. It's all good. This recipe, which you can, of course, find at uh, roadshow.com. And we want to wish you the best of luck. Thanks, Michaela. On the marathon. All right, go online and uh, be sure to whip this up at home.